15 going on 16 years ago. Hallelujah. I just want to come today and say, first of all, thank you, Heavenly Father. You get all the honor, all the glory, all the praise and worship. I really want to come today and tell you, my brothers and sisters, thank you for all the encouragement, the spending time with me, the love, the fellowship, the prayers, the donations, the hard work. You know, I didn't know nothing about this YouTube thing, you know, 15 years ago. I was already on another website called gospelkeyboard.com along with Brother PP Drawings. And I never thought this would turn out to be the way it is. Meeting so many different, unique, beautiful people, brothers and sisters in the faith. And just today, I, I don't know, man, my heart is just rejoicing. I'm overwhelmed. I'm in awe because of all the years and years of pressing on and people come, people go. But in spite of, we keep pushing. Whether we all agree with everything or not, we keep pushing. I see nothing but love. And I just want to come today and say thank you. I'm not saying this for no hand clap, but eight thousand videos going strong. 2005 of April is when I came on this YouTube thing. And doing all the piano tutorials, I just gotta just say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And all glory goes to our Heavenly Father using me as a vessel. And I just can't even imagine how many videos it would have been if all those videos in the past wouldn't have gotten taken down. We'd probably be close to 10,000 videos. But I'm saying that not for a hand clap. I'm saying out of these 8,000 videos, my prayer is that people got delivered, people got saved, and, and it's a beautiful thing because I know people that was going to commit suicide. Hallelujah. They are no longer suicidal. I know homosexuals who are no longer homosexuals, lesbians who are no, who are no longer lesbians, prostitutes who are no longer prostituting. People that was about to get divorced, they hung in there and they still pushing. That means a lot to me because that that once again shows me the Holy Spirit working through this page in spite of all the naysayers, in spite of all the haters that want to run me off. I don't run off easy, I told you that. And it just, I, I thought about the other night when we was talking about why do we come online so much? And what Brother Steve, he said, what Brother Dana Wade, Brother Hall, my brothers and my sisters in the chat, how we talked about strength and building each other up and iron sharp as iron and just having a place to come to just to vent, not only vent, but laugh and grow and, and learn more about the Holy Spirit in spite of the disagreements. We just thank you, Holy Spirit, right now. Thank you for that, the ones that, that, that didn't pull the trigger when they had the gun pulled to their head. As we go out here in these streets, as we've seen people online ready to give up on life. But yet, this is your platform that you brought us all together, Father. When you told me, JT, get off that keyboard mm, and start fishing. That was a while back. And I stand here boldly. I stand here teary-eyed to tell you, my brothers and sisters, thank you. Do you know how many nights and days that you encourage me? The encouragement, don't give up, brother. I'm praying for you, brother, praying for your family. <laughs> Keep pushing. 
even though you're getting attacked. But do you know what that mean to me? Because I already pat myself on the back like David and encourage myself. But sometimes it feels like a lonely road. But our Heavenly Father is always, always right there. So on this Sunday, in the month of June, July, excuse me, at 3.55 p.m., I'm in Dallas, Texas. I just want to stop and say thank you to you, hats off to you, and just continue to lift me up as I will continue to press on toward the mark, toward the prize of the higher calling. Brother Howard, you don't know what that meant to me. Brother Amos, Brother Dana, <laughs> sisters and brothers, when I see the Sherlands and the Tammy T's and, and the, oh man, I, I shouldn't even start saying names. I'm going to just say all of you. When I see all of you come on in that comment section, faithful as you are, Deborah, as encouraging as you are, Mama Rose, some of y'all been knowing me that long, but then some of y'all know, you know, you new to the page, but to my, I call y'all the old heads, like Brother P.P. P. Jones. To you, Brother P.P. Jones, to you, Pastor Cochran, the many videos, the labor that, this is why the Bible say some deserve double honor. Double honor to you, Pastor Cochran, to you, Brother Rodney. And I mean this from the bottom of, well, if, if, don't let me mess around and get some money and, and, and want to bless the way I, I really feel in my heart, man. But I try to do so much with the little that I have. But with that being said, know those that label amongst you. Pastor Cochran, you're doing an awesome job as always. Since day one, Brother Rodney, you tell Pastor Cochran to hug him for me and you tell him I've never seen him slack up not once. In all the years that I've known him online, I've never seen him slack up, nor give up, nor fall out of the faith. Can't, I can't say that for a lot of pastors I know, because many of them have quit. But you tell him I appreciate his consistency, his faithfulness, his love is genuine. His commitment to keep pushing in these last and evil days, in these hard times, these trials and tribulations that we living in, you tell them to keep. You tell them I said that. Keep pushing, and I want to tell each and every last one of you individually that's watching, whether you looking you at your work or in your home right now, look at me. Keep pushing. Your labor is not in vain. This means a lot to me. I'm, I'm, I'm very emotional today because of a lot of confirmation I've been getting. But at the same time, I'm in, I'm in a thankful, a grateful mode because of what I will have to follow have done. Oh, when he sent his only unique begotten son who hung, bled, and died. The, the one that paved the way. When we come on as men and as women that come on, whether you're on the screen or in the comment section, as you pull your heart out. A brother emailed me early looking at some of them old videos, some of them old, I, man, y'all put yourself out there. Yes, we do. Because we are not ashamed of the gospel. Last time I read, if you be ashamed of me, I too will be ashamed of you before my father. I don't want him to be, I don't, I, don't, I, can't, I can't, no, I can't roll that way. I don't want him to be ashamed of me. I must spread the gospel regardless. And I thank y'all once again from the bottom of my heart. Can't say thank you enough. So to all of you, you all know who you are. That's why I talked about them, them roses. <laughs> Y'all notice we've been talking about animals, insects, bugs, and 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 we 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 we've been talking about his creation lately on on live chats. 
That's why I want to talk about that rose. I give you your flowers while you're living. Ain't they ain't no good to you while you're dead. And that's why I say everybody talks about the rose. But you don't hear too many people talk about the thorns that protects that rose. If it, if it wasn't for the thorns, the rose couldn't be a rose. That sweet, that sweet smelling rose, that, that, that sweetness of it. When the animals want to attack it, them thorns <laughs> block them out the way. In other words, if it wasn't for the ugly, you wouldn't get to the beautiful. And I say that to say to you, my brothers and sisters, you are beautiful, you are wonderfully made, and I love you. Let's continue to go 15 more years. <laughs> Whatever the most high allows us to go, let's keep going, let's keep pushing regardless. So the haters don't do nothing but put fuel to my fire. And I love you and have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed Sunday night. This is your boy JT. I'm signing off, and I'm out. Peace and blessings to you.